I'm gonna touch it. All right. Oh, ah, oh my gosh, he, dude, you almost got it the first time. All right, everybody, we are gearing up for Flight Fest right now, as you can see by all the boxes behind me. But something really cool, Andrus has finished the edge. Yeah, man, super excited for this plane. I personally have been uh, waiting for this for a while, you know, to see it finally come together. And I'm excited to see you guys build it, fly it, crash it do some crazy stuff with it. We're actually gonna do something pretty crazy with this ourselves today. We're gonna go down to Fury Field, where Flight Fest is gonna be, and Stefan is actually gonna try to touch the tail while riding in the bed of an ATV while I'm flying this through the air. So it's gonna be a little, a little sketchy, very sketchy. I've always kinda liked 3D flying. I wanna make a foam board 3D plane. Uh, I know we have the FD3D already, but this is just, you know, a, a bit bigger a bit lighter wing loading. It should be able to do some more low and slow stuff a bit better than the FT3D did. One of the challenges I came across while building this thing was just how to get all these curves and get them basically the same every time so that it was a repeatable and fairly simple build process. Uh, so I actually, you can see in here, there is kind of an internal structure inside. So you actually build the inside first and then build the shell around it almost. Normally we design our planes in 2D CAD uh, on the computer, but this just wasn't really feasible to make in 2D. So I actually had to model this in 3D and make a 3D model of the, uh, of the plane. Uh, and then I took that, took these faces, and then exported them back into 2D CAD so that I could make all these shapes and stitch them together to make out a foam board. So since this is a 3D plane, uh, obviously you need a symmetrical airfoil on the wing. So as you can see, that's actually a perfectly symmetric airfoil uh, on the top and bottom. This way, it doesn't matter if you're flying upright or inverted, uh, the plane should fly the same. And also, because this is a 3D plane and you want nice axial rolls, the thrust line, the motor, sits right in line with the middle of the wing and the elevator back here. That way, it just rolls nice and axially right around the fuselage. I wanted to have removable landing gear because, you know, sometimes you're flying around, you don't want the landing gear. If you're, you know, flying off of tall grass or something, you just want to belly land it or hand catch it. No, don't try that at home. Mm -hmm. As you can see down here, there's a slot that you cut off the bottom of the fuselage and you can take your landing gear and just slide it right in when you want to. But if you don't want the landing gear, just pop them off. This is also nice because if you, you know, fly around a lot, bash up your landing gear, mm -hmm. You can just make a new set of landing gears and throw that on instead of building a whole new plane. Yeah, this doesn't have any wheels on it or wheel pants or whatever these, thing, these things are called. So, yeah. Here were some of the earlier prototypes of the landing gear that I made. Um, this one, I think, was the first one. It's got mismatched wheels on it. Uh, we tried, you know, without wheel pants, with wheel pants, but these turned out way too big. So I scaled those down a bit, uh, made these ones, and this is actually what I ended up going with. You have your landing gear with optional wheel pants, you have your wheel in here, and we actually carry uh, two inch wheels that will fit this plane perfectly inside the wheel pants. I wanted the landing gear to look cool and smooth just like the uh, real plane has, so I designed these things that are 3D printed, and I don't even know what they're called. I think they're like landing gear fairings or something, and we'll have these STL files available for free um, if you're interested in printing them. I also wanted to have a few options for you guys for wingtips. First option is just plain and simple, no wingtips. Then I made some 3D printed wingtips, which won't give you much of a performance difference, but they do look cool, and they give you the, the Red Bull Air Racer feel. You can download those STL files for free on Thingiverse. But the wingtips that'll give you the most performance difference are the Cyforce generators. These will actually help your yaw authority and your knife edge handling. Yeah, I'm super excited to see what you guys can do with this. If you do end up building an edge and flying it, uh, I'd love to see that in the forums or on the Facebook page. We're just gonna go try this stuff now. We're at Fury Field right now, uh, setting up Flight Fest, and we're gonna fly these Edge 540s. And uh, we're gonna try some sketchy stuff, but before that, we're gonna warm up a bit and uh, you know, just get our fingers warmed up on the sticks. 
How are you feeling, Josh? I'm excited. I, I wasn't planning on him making me fly the nicest one. Yeah, he's making me fly the Red Bull one. <laughs> like, See, that's why I grabbed the camera. I'm like, I'm, a, ca I was like, I'm not flying. The I'm a camera guy. I gotta I, fly. I, this is a work of art. Like, yeah. Between what Chad and him did with this, it's pretty crazy. It's and crazy. seeing what Andrews can do fly with it is pretty amazing yeah. too. But so. as you guys know, we're we're big fans of Red Bull Air Races, yeah. and our favorite pilot, obviously Kirby Chambers, you got to fly with yes. him. Yeah. He's obviously amazing at racing, but when he's not racing, you can find him doing yeah. all kinds of crazy stuff. So uh, he gave us a, a, a airplane ride, and then we proceeded to do crazier and sketchier things up to the point where we're going inverted through mountain passes. Well, if you guys haven't seen that video, we'll put the links down below. Josh got yeah. a crazy ride with Kirby, but so we thought we would take our stab at a crazy, somewhat sketchy little stunt. But beforehand, we figured while the planes are still in one piece, we'd have Josh and Andrews take them up to show you what these planes are really capable of. Hey, how about this? Rather than me flying, I'll wear a blue outfit and then I'll just be like <laughs> <laughs> and just just ready ready torque roll catch that you got that yep there you go yeah can't go. see you at all that's so fine you see that you see that going out of the frame there you go <laughs> so Anders, are we just gonna kind of ring these out get used to them have some fun I think that's the plan yep all right beautiful here we go oh man Dude, Andres, you did great, man. Thanks, man. You know, when you're flying your first 3D airplane, you don't have to go 100% throw and high rates. You can fly it around and be happy. I would say, when you fly it the first time, basic maneuvers, fly some circuits, feel the stall, feel the transition, feel what the ailerons do, what the torque does. I just can't believe right now I'm flying foam board because it doesn't feel like foam board. It has a presence of such a large airplane, man. <laughs> oh, look at that. There it is! Nice, dude! Dude, I love it! So what do you say I bring it in for landing? Because you have some special plans, right? Go yep. on. That's beautiful, dude. Oh, my! Nice! There it you is! Know what? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I would honestly say with this plane, you think you have to be an expert builder and an expert pilot. Mm -hmm. You don't. Right. If you keep your throws down, maybe what, 65% and maybe 30% expo? Exactly, right. It's super axial, super smooth on the controls. Right. Uh, I'd say it could be maybe your second four channel airplane. Just don't get too yeah, crazy with it. Yeah, same with the uh, build process. Like it looks complicated, but if you break it down, it's actually pretty simple. Yeah. It's just uh, takes a little while. Yes. All right, so you guys ready to do something sketchy? Ready, dude. All right. So we got this idea for the stunt from Skip Stewart, uh, who does it in full scale, where he flies super low, sometimes like inverted, sometimes knife edge, really close to the ground. And someone on the ground riding a vehicle touches his tail or his wingtip or something crazy like that. So I think we're gonna try this in RC form, but I'm uh, kind of nervous because I really don't want to cut up Stefan's face. But let's get it going. Thanks, you know, this man. is one of the first times we've ever had to say, don't try this at home. All right, you ready, buddy? Yeah. Guys, dude, this is crazy. He's inverted right now. <laughs> I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. All right. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, he, dude, you Missed almost got it. it the first time. Yeah. You know what though, you had it at the sweet spot. It looks like all you need to do is establish your line and he'll kind of come up to you. Basically, so yeah. It takes a lot yeah. of the nervousness for you out of there. True, out of very the true. Oftentimes you see people harrying like this, but then also you see really crazy low maneuvers inverted. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes this acts like a boat keel and you have all that air exposed and it's nice and crisp and it tracks a lot better inverted. Oftentimes. All right. all right, ready? Dude, thanks, that makes a lot of sense. It's easier, right? Inverted? Yeah, it is. Yeah, well there you go. Okay, why. that's why. <laughs> Round two. All right, so you got your practice out. Yep. Okay, um, I'm going Relax, to- Relax, dude. Flip this over murder like this. The promising. There it is. Oh, you got it! Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. He got it. Oh my goodness. That was kind of crazy. I was expecting him to just like touch it. Instead, what he did is basically like smacked your tail. Yeah. Still recovered. Dude, that was crazy. Okay. Stefan's on cloud nine right now. Oh my god. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. I think you're cheery just because you're happy you don't have to do it again. Yeah, I just don't want to have the. <laughs> opportunity? That's, that, that doesn't sound right. I don't I don't want to chance it again. There you go. There and, you and go. Killing Stefan because both times he made contact, it was very right. sketchy. <laughs> Dude, you crushed it, man. So guys, like I said many times before, <sighs> do not try this at home. Uh, we try to set a good example. We are not doing that right now, so please be safe and 
build an edge, fly an edge, hover the edge, knife edge the edge. Do not do don't, this with the edge. Yeah, don't, 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 don't do not do this. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Oh. And please, you guys, like Josh said, check out the link below. You guys supporting us on the store really allows us to do what we do. We wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't. We'll see you next time. See you next time.